It's the Trumpets. It's Ravenfield. Oh my God, can't wait to show you what we got today. Trumpet of Trumpets. Yep, someone did it. Someone made a nuclear powered attack submarine. You may be asking yourself, wait a minute, can it go underwater? Well, let me show you in a minute. And then you may be thinking, wait a minute, what's it supposed to do? That looks like a Raven ship, a really advanced uh, missile boat. Well, the submarine's gonna sink it? Yeah, oh yeah. And that's not all. Cause you see from the buildings here, this area has been captured by the Raven faction, the Red faction, and they're using it as a naval base, a forward operating base. It's pretty well defended from the air, you know, Patriot missile batteries. It's got a small flotilla of ships. Look at this cruiser. It's incredible. More little missile boats. And then this is the grand prize. We need to destroy this aircraft carrier, the other surface ships, and these anti-aircraft anti batteries so that we can then fly in troops and take the airfield. Now, it's not going to be easy because the enemy uh, has submarines in the area that we are going to have to watch out for. And when looking at the map, you can see the situation. Down in the bottom right, bottom middle, bottom right of that map, you'll see a blue airplane. Once we take out the anti-aircraft batteries, that plane is gonna drop troops in to help take hold of this base. But it's not gonna be easy. So we're gonna spawn over here and take command of our sub. This is the Cairn Bay Naval Air Station. And uh, this is our ride in. I just gotta find the hatch. Oh, it's cold. There we go. So this is kind of like first person and then this is the third person view so i like how it's like passive search however we do know that there's an enemy ship up ahead so one of the things that we have to do is dive 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 oh hold on <laughs> this is incredible okay we're 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 kind of like dipping up and down but if we go down a little bit more we are like fully under the water and we can dive even more and look at this. You didn't know, I didn't know, that this was even possible in Ravenfield. But the talented modding community always surprises. Now, we've got cruise missiles and acoustic torpedoes, it seems. I've never fired a torpedo before in Ravenfield. I can't tell where that ship is. And we don't have command of the air, so, well, we're gonna have to go in slow. Ping! <laughs> I wish we could do sonar pings. Oh, they're pinging us. Oh my God, is that a torpedo? Holy crap, what is that? Okay, this is terrifying. I dropped countermeasures though. Uh, like that little bubbling thing. Dude, what the heck, man? Dive, dive, dive. We need to get more depth, Captain. Jeez, we could probably go under this iceberg here. Passive search, oh, that's a quite a big, uh, nuclear powered submarine you got there. Why, thank you. Using satellite footage of the known area. Uh, yeah, that gunboat was kind of behind us and I kind of want to shoot at it, obviously. We're still dropping depth here. There's some pretty terrifying noises, but with the sonar sweeps and like the sound of a torpedo coming in, like this is pretty incredible. Now we should have a much better view of enemy ships, I hope. I didn't see the last one. Uh-oh. Ooh! We're getting really close. Look at that. <laughs> Let's uh get a little bit there. We don't want to scrape out. That would definitely make some noise. It's kind of hard to captain a submarine. Last known position. What if we just fire a torpedo? I mean, that would... In conventional submarine warfare, reveal our position. Hold on a second. It should... Oh, oh, what's that? Contact! Fire torpedo! Torpedo 2, on the way! <laughs> we got hits! We've destroyed an Orca-class Corvette! Oh my god, it's sinking and blowing up! Oh my god, it's incredible! No freaking way. Goodness gracious. That is amazing. That ship went down with all hands. Our mission has just begun though. This might be the best mod I have ever played in Ravenfield. A modder made this. His name is Sofa, Fifth Smell. We played a lot of his mods on this channel. So we're gonna be making our way over to what looks like the first capture point. Oh, potential contact. Contact! We don't know what it is yet. Do you think it's a, oh, passive search. 
Look at that speed set depth under keel. That's the depth under us be between us and the bottom at the current moment. I'm fairly certain. All right, we lost contact with whatever it was. Jeez, man, piloting a sub is terrifying. Oh, where is it? All right, searching for that contact again. We're gonna uh, increase. Oh, look at that. You gotta. <laughs> this is this is the best. You hear that? Oh, contact again. I think it might be an enemy sub. It looks like we'll just make it over. And we are going after this contact. When I was a young kid, I read a Tom Clancy book called SSN. Oh, that's a contact. That could be a surface contact. And it was all about nuclear powered attack subs. And it was absolutely incredible. All right, I'm tempted to fire torpedoes. You know what? We know we're the only friendly in the area. So, torpedoes away. Oh, were those countermeasures? Something's happening. Acoustic torpedoes away. Oh, you know what? It could be friendly aircraft. Hold on, we, we got a hit. Some kind of, some kind of hit. <gasps> oh my God, enemy sub, two of them. It looks like, all right, fire everything we got. Oh no, we lost contact because they dropped a countermeasure. They dropped another countermeasure. I think they're two subs. Sonar warning. Decoy's ready. Launch transient. Oh, we got an enemy torpedo incoming. Enemy torpedo, Captain. Once it gets closer, we're dropping countermeasures. Wait for it. Drop countermeasures. Jeez, man. What is this? This is a this is a horror game. Sonar warning. We've got to sink these things. Launch is transient. Enemy torpedo incoming. We have connection on a Kuwait class submarine. I don't have countermeasures. We, we suffered a hit. There's one more sub we have to get. Sonar warning. We have contact. He's coming in. Enemy torpedoes in the water. Our torpedoes are away. Countermeasure drops. Torpedo. Come on. This torpedo is about to make contact. And we have disabled another Kuwait class submarine. Now, I'm not sure if it's diesel electric or if it's a, a nuclear powered one. We're going to surface and try to use our uh, periscope. Now, I believe we want to set our depth to maybe 15. What is that noise? Oh my God. <laughs> Look at this surface context. Because what we want to do is be able to just like... <laughs> this is amazing. All right. Now we should be able to lock onto them and fire torpedoes using... Oh, they're, they're dropping countermeasures. We're reloading torpedo tubes one through four, Captain. I'm, I'm talking to myself because I'm imagining I have a crew and this is multiplayer cooperative, but you know, it's not. So I just have to pretend I have friends. <laughs> Holy biscuits. We just took out the cruiser. The cruiser is sinking fast. The hull is cracked. Reload tubes one through four. Enemy missile boats are using countermeasures. They don't seem to be very well equipped to deal with us. That cruiser's going down. You can see the carrier over there. That is our target. Once we get in, though, we're going to have to use ballistic, um, I guess cruise missiles. Man, these guys, I need to lock on this one because he just dropped countermeasures. Fire two torpedoes, and there we go. These guys aren't armed with anti-submarine capabilities, which is fantastic. They're trying to fire their deck gun and maybe hit my periscope. Not very effective. We are, like, really, really close. All right, we have a lock. We're going to hit them right in their shafts right there. Boom! The Orca class Corvettes are destroyed. All right, we're going in. Now, what would be cool though, is if like the enemy had helicopters. Helicopters are really, really good anti-submarine uh, fighters, especially when launched from ships. So just kind of periscoping around. I mean, this has got to be the most unique experience I've ever had in Ravenfield. The Ravenfield mods are just incredible. And like, look at it. You have two totally different experiences. When you're under the water, it's just like so mysterious. And then when you can see above, it's just like you realize the power of a nuclear powered submarine. Now we have cruise missiles and I'm not entirely sure how to fire them yet. I'm not sure if we're gonna use torpedoes on that carrier or cruise missiles. Now we do have infinite cruise missiles, but in real life, you know, you'd probably be very judicious with them. All right, so we can't get, we need to take out, all right. I think I'm gonna try to surface and use cruise missiles. All right, so there's a, one of the surface air missile batteries. Oh, there they are. There it is. I don't have to still guide it, do I? Wait, why is he, why are you going that way? Oh, I see. Can you hit this still? <laughs> All right, uh, unfortunately I can't watch the cruise missiles. All right, we fired two. We're gonna try to hit this spot right here. Let's see if it works. 
We have 242, I'm assuming meters. No, maybe 242 feet underneath our keel. Oh, here we go. Boom. Dragas was uh, using that surface air missile, apparently. All right, two cruise missiles away. It's a little bit overkill, but honestly, why not, right? We're going to start the reload process. Here we go. Okay, so I'm fairly certain. Man, we are powerful. We're going to reload uh, torpedo tubes one and three because they have already fired now. There could be like little sneaky gunboats that could be like just coming to try to like here. What I want to do though is can I just fire it? There we go. You kind of got to see a ballistic missile go off. I, I wanted to catch one. All right. So I, you know what? I don't know if I can sink this carrier, but we might as well find out. We're just going to unleash as many as we can on this thing. Now we got to reload the cruise missiles. One hit, two hits. Ah. Uh, I don't think the carrier is an objective, but man, that's freaking awesome. Now, where's our airplane? I think it was shot down, and we got some guys in the water actually out there. But now that that's down, I think what happens is this submarine would, like, you know, clear out. Now, you would never be doing this. You'd, at the minimum, you'd be doing this with your periscope out, and someone on shore would be like, Hey, what is that thing out there, man? That thing's a fish unicorn. And then his buddy be like, are you talking about a narwhal? So now we have to go in and seize this airfield, right? So, all right, start your timers. We're doing this again. Now that you've kind of seen the basics, the planes that come from off screen come after about five minutes of in-game time. All right, we got five minutes to do this. It's honestly, I think the timer is way too low. You have to like rush in there and rushing in there gets you killed. Have I tried this a few times? Yes, I've tried this a few times. Yeah, we've already used a minute just to get here. The amount of time it takes you to move, much less fight. Already used two minutes. We'll have like a minute maybe? I've gotta what, sink a ship or two and then take out the Sams. If we can pull it off though, it will be well worth it. I don't even see that patrol ship. I mean, we could i'm just gonna fire a salvo of cruise missiles and hope for the best <laughs> let's see if we hit anything they're starting to drop now all oh, the ships are all taken off oh destroy the sarissa sam destroy the destroyer oh my gosh okay no subs as far as i can tell now where's the other sam right here all right we dive and then we try to torpedo this guy we've got a minute 14 all right, he's gonna drop countermeasures, so we need to get him again. Whoa. Where is he? Where did he go? They just dipped out over there? Can I fire a torpedo that way? Oh, look, look, look. Enemy subs. Sonar warning. I don't know if I have my countermeasures. Oh, God. I'm slamming it. Oh, we took a hit. There we go. Okay, we gotta get to periscope depth. The timer went off. There we go. We took them both out. Let's get out of this sub so we can't get torpedoed. The planes haven't come in yet. So I was told five minutes. The timer went off a little bit after five minutes. There's small arms fire coming in from over there, but the only thing protecting the base, I'm fairly certain, is those two ships, because the ships do not respawn. Now it's a matter of, can I swim and get up there? Now you wouldn't ordinarily abandon your submarine. Okay, there's definitely enemies out there somewhere. I'm awaiting reinforcements. What was that? Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, it's just those two ships. Do you think they can take out a plane? Maybe not both of them. We've made it too far though. I, I've got to like, are they coming? Are they beelining it back? Oh geez, we got to get out of here. Enemy infantry, they don't see me. Okay, the planes I think might be moving. Oh, okay, here they come. You can see them moving on the map. Uh, The two little gunboats with anti-submarine warfare weaponry are on there. Come on planes, we should be able to get a visual. Oh, okay, there's visual on one. Both SAM sites are down as well as the destroyer. I don't think these guys have the ability to take out planes. This is amazing. 
Oh my gosh, and look at this, like, they don't even know I'm here, because I'm like, I went from like, oh, oh, there's flak batteries firing. Okay, wait, did one sink? One looks like it flipped over. I don't know what killed it, or if anything did. Oh, it just flipped, okay. And then the paratroopers should be dropping out momentarily. I don't think the infantry's been alerted. All right, let's try to make a run for it. Oh, there they go! Okay. Oh man, we have quite a distance to run. Oh my God, did they not drop their parachutes? <coughs> oh my God, what just happened? Did the plane, did all those soldiers die? The plane may have gotten hit with enough anti-aircraft where like those guys just died and the plane just dropped them off not knowing. I don't know what happened, but we just captured the drop zone. So at this point, I'm just trying to get back to the skies and then take the rest of the facility. They're already moving in over here towards the radar dome. Man, I should have had like a ATV called in or something like that. Air dropped. Ooh, small arms fire. Someone's shooting at me. Oh. Oh, look, they're reacting. Okay, as long as I don't get like one-shotted. Oh, they're taking it right now. We, we dropped in an armored personnel carrier and no one's operating it. Ow, ow, what the heck is wrong with you guys? There you go. Take that. There you go. Some long-range snipery skills for you. Yeah, so I was told over five minutes, but it definitely wasn't near five minutes. It was over that. Raven captured the radar station back. Oh, yeah, we're going to need to bring in armor. Luckily, we have that right here. Look at that beauty. Arctic camo and all. All right. Now it's going to be harder for me to die. <laughs> Not impossible, but harder. Wait a minute. Is that an enemy? Yeah, that's an enemy. Oh, this is like fish in a barrel. I don't know why people put fish in barrels and then shoot at them, but they do, apparently. Apparently it's a thing. I hear machine gun fire coming from behind me. I'm trying to ascertain the position. Maybe get some reinforcements here. They got a vehicle, blew it up. All right, let's reload before we go over this berm. Are those allies? Yeah, they are. All right, boys, let's take this flag. Ooh. There we go, they just splattered all over the place. Yeah, don't charge a armored personnel carrier with an auto cannon. Not a good idea. Can't tell, I think that's foes. Yep, definitely foes. Whoa, okay, those are allies. I was really, really scared for a second. That is so many troops cresting that hill. Reloading. Oh my gosh. This is a one hit kill when you get it. So now we're just gonna like defend against this push. We've taken the radar. We've got like two more positions. A lot of small arms fire coming from over here. All right, there's one more spot and that's the airfield itself. Once we've taken that, we've effectively captured this naval and air station. Look at this, man. An entire army flanking in front of me. Heavy guns behind him. Don't run into my truck, man. Yeah. We have taken the airfield and taken a hold of this aircraft carrier. Cairn Bay Naval Air Station is ours, boys. And all that it entails, including those planes and that aircraft carrier. Now, there are still those two ships out there and submarines. But maybe we can fly some plane missions and destroy them. Anyway, hope you did enjoy this video on Ravenfield. If you guys do want to see more, we'll pull the trigger on the like button and let me know. And here it is. Submarine preview map by Sofa. The Cairn Bay Submarine Demo. And here's the objectives. This is awesome. Probably the best mod I've ever seen in Ravenfield. I feel like I say that every now and then, but this truly is pushing the limits of the game. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.